Hello and welcome back to Berserker. And we're going to be playing in a tournament very, very fast here because we do have a long, fine steel spear. And I'm thinking, hey, maybe that's going to give us some kind of part unlock or something along those lines. Even if it doesn't, I guess that's all right. You know, gets a little bit of uh, extra money here. Got to be very careful about this guy. Oh, yeah. And we also need to change our height. I keep talking about that and I, I keep forgetting to do it. So, yeah, we are definitely going to go ahead and do that after this if we if we can that is if we can obviously then i will try to do that okay wait a minute oh the blue team fantastic oh never mind you're dead that's great i don't have a two-handed so i won't be able to test out the whole you know deflecting arrows thing but yeah that doesn't really matter because we just murdered them very nicely indeed all right so we have a thrown weapon here gonna try oh nice we actually got that guy nice good good very happy about that and we also hit that fellow in the leg these guys are actually pretty good at throwing weapons, so should be a bit careful about them. They might end up doing some damage to me. Nice. Oh, we got him in the leg. Uh, I don't think we... Ha oh, we have enough range. Fantastic. We actually had enough range to be able to hit that guy. That is great. And there we go. Oh, they're giving me a bow. They're giving me every single thing except what I really want to use. Obviously, a two-handed is probably out of the question. I mean, it's not really a two-handed... Uh, two-handed kind of thing nice good headshot oh that was easy <laughs> what <laughs> what was that guy doing he was like oh, i'm sleeping yes he is indeed okay fantastic okay now this is just oh okay classic sword and shield fight and this should be relatively easy he has no no helmet on speaking of helmets we really do need to get another one i know i spoke about getting a, a new helmet in a previous episode but there just weren't any good ones in the marketplace at that time so we're gonna have to try and find one that might work out let's see if we can go in here and find one i'm gonna look for value here yeah, as you can see, this this one is looking pretty good, and the weight is not that much bigger. And obviously, just bear in mind that we obviously have a pretty significant amount of cash right now. So I'm I'm literally just looking at these things, and I'm thinking, well, what is the difference between these? Well, there's not much, right? Doesn't seem like much of a difference. Oh, this might be better. I mean, it's got six. Uh, it's basically pointless. It's pointless for me to buy this because it only gives me four additional protection. We really want this or this, which gives me 10. I personally think the Legionary Helm looks better, but this one is cheaper, but only by, what, 2,000. So I'm going to buy the Legionary Helm here, and I'm actually going to put that on straight away. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch to Melissa here because no doubt this is better for her. There we go. That is better for her. And I think we're basically done. So I can just sell the rest. And there we go. We're only going to pay 6000 instead of 20000 So that's a really nice saving right there. Anyway, we are at war against the Western Empire. So I'm going to see if I can maybe head over there. Oh, hello there. A rebel faction has emerged. They're led by Clan Mestikaros. And the rebels demand that Regea abdicates... <laughs> what okay well that's that's kind of hilarious anyway i need to edit my character right so how do i do that because i've never done that before is there a way that i can do that uh i think there is a way that i can do it but i'm not entirely sure how so all right so there we go i figured it out basically it is v i, I don't know why it's v but you press v while you're on the campaign map and then it immediately takes you through to the character customization menu and that is exactly where we are right now so i'm going to make ourselves um quite a bit taller so we're going to go for like above average right yeah above average so we stop looking like a child i mean basically you know that that is exactly what's going on there and we're gonna just go and make ourselves a little bit bulkier as well so that we look you know we look kind of solid and and a bit a bit, little bit intimidating and that will be that there we go yeah so you can just press v as i said and then you're gonna be fine anyway let's move over to lycaron because i'm actually thinking there might be an army here i think the army that uh, we saw previously had oh okay Apparently, it has not been defeated. Very, very strange. Because I did see a number of vassals be defeated quite close by. Anyway, I'm just going to move on. I'm going to see if I can maybe attack this caravan. That would be pretty nice. If I can do it. 
There we go. Hello there. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm probably just gonna go in a manual fight this. I don't think we have a significant enough advantage to be able to auto-resolve it with a significant Soldiers! advantage. You know, Charge! basically just... I don't want to go in and literally just die. You know, I don't want to lose 5, 10, 15 units as a result of my impatience. So we're just going to go into the manual battle and see what we can do. I'm going to tell my cavalry to do their own thing so that they can skirmish. Same thing with the horse archers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try and level up my one-handed skill. This is a pretty decent weapon. I think it's quite nice and quick now that I've crafted a new one. And... Uh, these horsemen have split into two parts. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. But anyway, yeah, we're just going to get these guys over here. I'm going to put them into a loose formation as well. That's going to be something that we really do want to... What the? What was that? Get out of here. Give me that 200... Ah, oh, give, give me that 200... What? Why are there so many of them? There are so... Oh, why, 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 why does he have so many? Why does he have so many cavalry? What? Get him. Yeah, there we go. Give me that 200 one-handed weapon proficiency. Thank you very much. That is what I was aiming for this entire time. And there we go. He is now dead. Fantastic. And now maybe I'll be able to uh, get a couple of other kills. Nice. Oh, no, no. There we go. There, That's nice. We, we dealt some good damage to him right there. Unfortunately, not... Yeah, not good enough to eliminate him until now. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Gonna tell my guys to charge in now because it seems like they are going to need to close the gap against many of the opponents coming in here. I'm gonna go back to a two-hand. Actually, should I just use my throne weapons? Anyone want a piece? Anyone want a piece of me? That guy... Uh, okay, never mind. This guy apparently wants a piece. Ah, no, his shield wants a piece by the looks of things. Well, that's not really gonna help. Wow, we do so much damage with two-handed now. That is all thanks to the last perk in the line. Oh, that's crazy. Wow, that is really, really nice. I mean, 45 damage was not exceptional, of course, but um, yeah. The ability to swing just that much faster and do that much more damage, it really makes a huge difference because it gives you, what is it, like 0.5% more damage for every single point? So we are already gaining uh, like 5-10% already. I, I don't even know what specifically we have. I think we have 270 or something like that so far. So it's pretty nice. Anyway, there you go. We took no casualties whatsoever. And we are hopefully going to be able to get deeper into Western Empire territory. That's what I generally want to do. Because their villages are ripe for the picking. So that is exactly what we're going to try. I'm going to go to Saniopa actually. We're going to have a, a little um, a little excursion over there. Oh, hello. Hmm. We probably want to fight this. We probably want to fight that. Okay, increases your combat movement speed by 5%. I mean, basically, this is already the one I'm going to take, but I'm going to take a look at the alternate option just to show you. Your shields take 10% uh, less damage. This is feeble. This is extremely feeble. I don't know why... They would give you such a good bonus in the form of 5% combat movement speed and then give you something like 10% less damage. I mean, I think 10% less damage for your infantry tr infantry troops in your formation, I think that's fantastic. I think that's really good. But the 10% less damage of your own shield, I think that is very, very poor. So we're not going to obviously take that. I mean, in general, I wasn't going to take that ever because 5% combat movement speed, how can you say no to that, really? That is just going to make us into almost like a whirlwind. A whirlwind of death. That sounds like a good name for a weapon. Ah, don't worry, I'm going to forget about it by the time we make a new one. And it's probably going to be called something like... Uh, Cookie Harvester of... Um, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Cookie Harvester of I don't know. There we are. That's the, that's the next weapon name. Yeah, exactly. That's what we do. Anyway, let's move in here. I, I could actually auto-resolve against this, even though they have more units than the caravan 
the caravan seemed to have dramatically more combat strength just due to how many cavalry units they had. I can assume that that is indeed the case. Anyway, we're going to do a similar thing here where we do auto delegation for all of our cavalry and then we're just going to get our infantry to come in here and go for a nice little loose formation too. Loose, in my opinion, is really good for their javelins and everything. Someone said that uh, they'd like to see more javelins equipped on our infantry. And I might, I might do that. I might do that because I don't know whether it really makes a huge difference to their weight. It feels to me like they're basically just the same in terms of how fast they are because obviously they don't have a huge amount of points. That's the thing. Yeah, they don't have a huge amount of points. Oh yeah, also, you can disable the limit on the amount of skill points that you have available. So if you want to, you can completely make your units exactly how you want them to be. So if you want some, if you want regular units to be on par with the noble units of other factions, then you can do that. You can decide to do that if you want to. Personally, I'm not doing that because that just imbalances everything quite dramatically. And we're already quite strong as it is. But otherwise, um, yeah, uh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, a bunch of people actually said to me, uh, that the, um, my, uh, my, my recruits, right, my recruits, they don't have any polearm skill. Well, don't worry, I went back and I actually changed that before the previous episode, actually. So, they are all fine, they are basically ready to go, and I also removed a little bit of their one-handed skill, and I gave them some more um, something else. What was it? I don't know. But I can basically show you after this if you'd like to see. But yeah, that um, that's gonna that's gonna really help them out to be just that much more effective. Because obviously, if they have zero pole arms, they're probably not gonna be very effective at all. Nice slash through him right there. Oh, we're getting so many kills right now. Got to be really careful about this guy. He can kill me. He can kill me. I am such, I am in such dire straits in terms of my HP right now that anyone with <laughs> anyone with an ounce of strength or an extremely uh, light breeze can just you know tip me over at this point. I think we're gonna have to go zoom zoom though. Look at that. I can literally move while this is happening. Oh. Okay. I was going to say, I can literally move while this is happening. This is so fun. And then, yeah. <laughs> that is very, very amusing. Anyway, yeah. Imperial Heavy Horsemen, everyone. That is what they do. They do tend to be quite a nuisance. And uh, thankfully, we did end up achieving victory. Thankfully, we are also on our way to a town. So that's going to give me a good opportunity to rest up and to recuperate. Because obviously, I am now at 1% HP, which is fantastic. I love it. Oh, yes. Great. Anyway, hopefully I'm going to be able to reach Saniopa without um, encountering any other armies. That would be amusing as well. And hopefully my medicine skill is going to do its thing. Oh, hello. Hmm. What does this guy have? Does he have anything that could be potentially dangerous? I mean, I could go in there and attack him. We have so much more combat strength than he does. So theoretically, I should be able to defeat him quite easily. Let's go for an auto resolve just to test that theory. Yeah, as you can see, the auto-resolve did result in a lot of casualties. But we do get the opportunity to now take him prisoner. And bear in mind, we are now able to take a huge amount of his own units prisoner too. So this is going to definitely help us. If I can reach... Sa uh, if I can reach Saniopa before this happens. Look at how slow we're moving right now. Just purely for the amount of prisoners that we have. There we go. Oh, I have no idea how many we had left, but we have enough to give us 20,000, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue leveling my roguery skill as far as I can, and we're just going to recruit some additional people here. Um, what did I actually want to do now? I wanted to show you something, didn't I? Uh, yes. No, I don't want to cancel my changes. I want to show you this. There we go. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, I actually took points away from one-handed and I put them into pole arms so they're really really fast so if they get dismounted actually I think that's probably a bad idea right I think that's probably a bad idea let's make it so that they have 15 athletics and then they have 20 in one-handed and 
20 in pole arms. And let's actually give them a one-handed, eh? That would probably make sense, wouldn't it? So let's give them something like... We want to give them a decent weapon. So a Falk's Knife is pretty good, or at least I think it's pretty good. I, I think they do quite a lot of damage. Uh, hmm. It's probably going to have to be something like that. So we'll give them a Falk's Knife. There we go. And that is going to be nice. So they basically have a spear, a knife, a shield, and then they have a bunch of athletics and all that stuff. And it's the same thing, like, for example, if you were to disable your total skill, skill restrictions, basically what I could do, disable this, and then I could literally do whatever I wanted with the amount of points I have. Do you see how many points I have left? I have 9,003. <laughs> that is absolutely insanity. Yeah, I'm obviously going to disable that for the moment. Anyway, let's go for let's go for some more throne weapons, shall we? Let's add some more throne weapons because I think they seem pretty fun. So let's do that. Let's see if I can get any better ones. I mean, I think the Jareeds are pretty good. I mean, they have 121 damage. I don't think anything else has a similar amount of damage. I mean, they they all have similar damage you know, damage values, but generally I think the Jareed is the best. And there's even crafted javelins here if you wanted to use your own craftables, which you could... Oh, actually, that gives me an idea. You could potentially... Um... Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I did mention that before, but you could obviously get a bunch of really high-tier weapons, and then you could basically just give them to your units if you wanted them to use that instead of just some random units, uh, random weapons from the list. But I don't know. Personally, I feel like the list does give you a pretty decent amount. It gives you some, some nice stuff, or at least I think it gives you some nice stuff. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can maybe catch up to this guy. There we go. And let's, let's just auto-resolve this as well. We lost seven. That's not too bad. And we'll just get the prisoners there as well. My medicine skill levels up so much faster this way as well, which is really quite nice. Let's just loot a bunch of these so we get extra carry capacity. We do need to go into Saniopa's marketplace and, uh, well, basically just rest up, sell everything, and, uh, you know, count our chickens lucky that we were even able to make it here, to be honest. Okay, so let's have a look here. Yeah, so we have two javelins right there. Okay. So there's 20,000, and there's one-handed baked goods. Obviously, that is what we created beforehand, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the smithy real fast just to make sure that I'm not going to sell anything that is really, really good for uh, unlocking additional parts. Ah, as you see, the long, fine to um, the steel spear actually did give us some new parts. So that is really nice. Glorious magnification of glory. Yes, that is... <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, let's see now. Let me uh, just get rid of a bunch of the. Why? Why does it go to the top? Uh, it goes to the. Uh, it goes to the next pitchfork along. Ah, okay, okay. I see. So let's just do a bunch of this because I want more wood. As many, as much wood as I can get my hands on, basically. And then is that it? Yeah, that seems to be it. I don't know why they're all in separate little. Um, little slots to be honest but anyway let's just build a bunch of charcoal as you can see we're getting a massive amount of smithing skill as well i'm aiming to get to 125 here and there you go we got to 125 fantastic and now we can take a look at the perk i'm hopeful that it's going to be something kind of useful yeah this is absolutely useless so it really does not matter stamina spent for refining or smelting probably smelting should be halved um, this is really what I wanted. I wanted to get to Vigor being increased by 1. That would have been fantastic. Because uh, then I would have had 10 in Vigor. And that's the reason why I left most of my stats at 8, by the way. Because I generally just wanted to uh, use my perks to be able to benefit from those. Because most of the time, whenever I've done that in the past, I've always you know, just gone for like 10 immediately in whatever that is just gone for 10 in vigor or control or whatever it is and then when i get a perk that increases that particular stat it's a complete waste so that's the reason why i've done that anyway let's just level up a bunch more units here and then we'll continue onward i would like to continue recruiting people but a lot of these people don't actually really like me that much so 
They are making things a little tricky, yes. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to raid this village right now. Uh, I'd like to wait here for some time first, though. Because waiting here for some time is going to hopefully give the remaining uh, wounded units a little bit of time to restore themselves. And then we will hopefully be okay to do this. How many do they have in the um, in the defense here? None? Do they not have any defense, really? They have no defense. Wow, that is actually insane. Okay, I had no idea that they would have nothing. Oh, these guys are actually wanting to... Really? I'm surprised. I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't be so surprised because we do have much less in terms of numbers and we also have less combat strength. That's probably the reason why they attacked us, to be honest, because they, you know, I think the AI mostly looks at the combat strength and it's just like, oh, okay, combat strength is, you know, my advantage, you know, talking from their position and then they just go in and that's it. But yeah, anyway, let's take a look. Where are they going to come from? They're going to come from over here. Well, I'm going to be very, very careful here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a nice loose formation right here. And then we're going to go standard auto delegate and everything. And I'm just going to basically wait here with all of my berserkers and my nobles and so on. And then we'll see how that works. Yeah. I mean, I'd like my own cavalry to deal with their cavalry if at all possible. What? How is that not a kill? Oh, well, never mind. That's a kill. Oh, these guys. They are absolutely grinding my gears right now. They are grinding my gears so hard that I literally am just now thinking to myself, let's just, let's just charge. Let's just charge, guys. Go, 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 go. I'm sure we should be able to achieve victory against their main forces, even if their cavalry is proving to be somewhat irritating to deal with. Now they're shooting us. Yes. Okay. Now let me see if I can actually do something here with the arrows. I'm still going to try dodging the arrows, but wow, these guys really know what's up. They have a lot of damage. Uh, uh, careful. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want to get killed by <laughs> that Batanian hero. Thank you very much. That would have been really painful. Okay, there we go. There's a nice... Uh, I, I'm going to say it, okay. Uh, this might... I, I don't know whether this is going to jinx me because now we're going to get beset upon by an even larger enemy. But I think that's pretty much a good victory for us right there. We ended up losing 17 units. That's, that's not even that bad. I mean, most of them are berserkers. They're not too bad to level up. They do tend to level up quite quickly. And we're going to take this guy prisoner, and we'll take all of his people prisoner as well. As many as I can handle, that is. I don't want to take too many, because it's going to slow us down so dramatically that I won't be able to escape. Which is obviously a big deal. Alright. Here we go. I'm still raiding the village. <gasps> no! She died! Melissa! 
Oh, she's been with us since the well, basically since the start, since the start of the series. That's that's really sad, actually. Oh well, okay. I mean, that is that is the world that uh, that Mister <laughs> that Mister Bruce lives in. You know, he can't really can't really do much about that, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, workshops owned by you have twenty percent increased production. Siege engines build twenty percent faster. I guess we'll take that. And athletics ignore. Uh, I was going to say ignores your armor by ten percent. No. Uh, increases your armor by 10% while on foot, or increases your stagger damage threshold by 50% while on foot, and also decreases your party's food consumption. I really don't care about food consumption, to be honest. I'm going to take the armor increase. Ignore pain sounds like an extremely useful ability anyway. And athletics, the final one is this. You stun your enemies longer after they block your attack. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I actually quite like that. Because a lot of a lot of people are uh, blocking me quite a bit now, so that's going to be pretty useful. I'm going to give myself another point in int intelligence and another point in medicine as well. And I'm wondering, can I continue raiding with what I have right now? Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. We're going to have to head out of here. And then uh, what I will do is don't worry i'm i'm gonna be returning to sestadime next time we actually uh, get around here but for now i'm going to try and see if i can recruit some more units hello there i'm gonna attack you sir if you're still here when i get over there because i'm moving why am i moving so slowly is it because i'm over encumbered do i do i am i do i really have that much in my inventory no look at this we've just eaten some of that food so we are not over encumbered, but we are moving so slowly for some reason. Yeah, ransom offer. Okay, why are we moving so slowly? Herd. Ah, mm hmm. Okay, it's a herd deficit. Okay, so the herd deficit is the reason why we're having problems here. It's probably because we have too many horses. I assume we have too many horses. Because usually those horses would be ridden by a bunch of my units, but of course, because they've died, they are no longer, you know getting that bonus so we're going to have to do something about that as well but melissa is now dead so obviously i don't even have to look out for gear for her any further which is really sad as well but anyway let's see what i can do here we'll sell a bunch of these wow the herd the herd deficit maybe maybe i have a bunch of yeah i have a bunch of sheep and, and cows and hogs and so on so maybe that's making a difference yeah that did make a pretty big difference but still a massive amount to deal with here. Gonna have to buy some mules and stuff just to get us over the threshold. For some reason, we have so much stuff. Why do we have so much stuff? Is it is it all of my charcoal? It's probably all of my charcoal and stuff like that, right? Anyway, I have 500,000 HP. HP. 500,000 gold right now, and I'm gonna be ransoming my people. There we go. There's another two skill points in roguery. What's the next perk for roguery, by the way? What is that? 30% higher chance of enemy surrender. Huh. Well, that, that might be kind of useful. Also, 5% daily chance to improve relations by one with random gang leaders in the settlements you govern. That In the settlements you govern? Ugh. Yeah, in the settlements you govern. That's not particularly good. Also, your crime rating decreases 20%. Well, that's the other one. Doesn't really, doesn't really help me that much. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. And there's a huge amount of different sieges going on as well, as you can see right there. Anyway, hopefully we're going to be able to participate in some larger battles in the next one once I have recuperated my army. I thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.